Today, I've got a little bit of a treat for you. You may have noticed if you have a copy of Assassin's Creed Origins that you can now hack the Animus control panel. So if you've ever wanted to run around Egypt as someone other than Bayek, create some crazy menagerie of tamed animals, or even if you just want to play around with the nuances of how Assassin's Creed Origins operates, then the Animus control panel is definitely something you'll want to try out. Okay, so first things first. If you have a copy of Assassin's Creed Origins on Uplay, on PC, you'll be able to access the Animus Control Panel. But there are a few key things you need to know first. Anything that you do with the Animus Control Panel will need to be done in a new saved game. So you'll need to hack one of those saves to create a new one and do all of your Animus Control Panel stuff in that save. You'll want to head to where you found your saved games before, hover over your existing save, and then duplicate that by hacking the Animus. Once you've done that, all you need to do is head into your new save game, hit Shift F2 to open the Uplay overlay, and then you will have access to the Animus control panel. The first thing you'll notice is that there are a bunch of different presets already. So we have Default, Hardcore Stealth, Mad World, God Mode, and all of those will change the variables that you see below. Now there's a lot of stuff to tinker with, so you can get up to some crazy shenanigans. Even at a basic level, if all you wanted to do was play as Aya a little bit more than before, you can just change that character model like that. Or maybe you'd prefer to play as... Hepzifer. Easy. All the variables are split up into different sections. You have your general hero controls, you have the way that your hero fights, but where it gets really interesting is being able to adjust the way that NPCs work. If you want to change the way that they detect you for a more stealthy feel, you can do that. If you want to make them attack faster, slower, do more damage, have different hitboxes, you can do all of that crazy stuff. This is really cool too. If you wanted everyone to hate you in the world, you could change everyone to think that you're an enemy. So you could really be as measured or as ridiculous as you want when you're playing around with the Animus control panel. One of the things that I would find really interesting is trying to make a more punishing combat system. Taking more damage, maybe doing more damage as well. So we could go in here and adjust the damage that we do to 200%. We could adjust the melee damage of enemies to 250. Apply it restart the world and then see how it feels. And we can tweak it. I mean, if you're an aspiring game designer, playing around with a lot of these things will start to give you a bit of an idea of how balance changes can make a huge impact in the game. Now you can get up to all sorts of crazy stuff with this. By adjusting the amount of animals that you contain, you could create a hippo army. Or maybe if you're like me, you just want to wander around the wilderness with a bunch of cats. That's cool too. Also, one of the cool things that you can do is once you've found something that you like, you can go into the Animus control panel and change the name of it so you can save it out. So let's call this one Engon Souls. You could also add a description if you want. So if you're forgetful like me, you can leave yourself a little bit of a reminder of what you've changed. So changed, basic, damage, done. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty damn cool. And I don't think we can end this video without giving a huge shout out to the teams at Ubisoft Montreal, Kiev, and here on the Uplay team for collaborating on this awesome feature. And if there's one thing that I've learned about devs, I mean one thing at all, it's that they want to see all the crazy stuff you're getting up to with what they've made. So if you use one of the presets that they've laid out, or you create your own crazy one and these awesome moments happen, whether they be entertaining, hilarious, or challenging, do let us know in the comments below, or send us a tweet or a link to a YouTube video so we can see the madness that you're getting up to. All right, that's going to be a wrap for today. Have a great time in Egypt with this new tool, and we'll see you all next week.